Hello, my name is uh, Pierre Bartnowski, and I came here to present you, to talk to you about PRISPA, the project I've been working on with uh, 50 Romanian students for the last two and a half years. PRISPA is the name we gave to our team, uh, the first Romanian team to be selected for the Solar Decathlon Europe 2012 competition. It's a very long name, but it's a very simple competition. It challenges universities from all around the world to design and build a house that works with sun energy. Only sun energy feeding the house. And uh, our team, uh, PRISPA, has uh, this particular particularity of being a um, joint venture between four universities of Bucharest, construction, architecture, engineering, and design. Um, though this is a big part of the team in Madrid. And of course, um, managing 50 students with so many ideas, so many different uh, abilities is a very big challenge. Having them concentrate on one idea together and trying to really take the best out of each of one is even more difficult. <laughs> and uh, that's what we have tried to do when we learned we were selected for this competition. And uh, it took us two weeks to come with the idea. PISPA sounds funky. It's a good architectural concept. Let's go for it. But it took us one year to transform this funny, funky, good concept idea into a real strong strategy and uh, take from this strategy all what we needed to design a house, which left us only six months to find sponsors and prefabricate this house for the competition. And in July 2012, we finally assembled for the first time our PRISPA house in Bucharest. It was uh, very important for us to this deadline. We had to try everything. We had to be sure we are able to build a house quickly in Madrid. But most of all, it was very important for us because we wanted to communicate about our project in Romania. Indeed, our house, PRISPA, is made for Romania, for Romanian villages. It's a house, it works only with sun energy, but it's a house, that was the first thing. It has all you need, it's comfortable, it's accessible, price-wise and user-friendly. And this um, uh, two months in Romania was the opportunity to meet the public, to present them what is a sustainable house, how does it work. You know, it's like a car that doesn't use any gas. So many people, they begin to think, ah, it's not so expensive in the end. And um, this was a key moment to share with people in Romania. In September, we left for Madrid. We left with one bus for the team and six trucks for the house. We arrived in Madrid and it was crazy. The first day of construction was amazing. 20 trucks, there are 19 teams, 15 cranes everywhere, everybody running around, 500 students, all with the same goal, building their house in 13 days, which is, by the way, very short for a house that has to work completely after 13 days and building from scratch. And uh, we made it three minutes before the deadline. Uh, but we made it. That's the important part. Time has been a very important issue in the team mode, but each time we made it to the end. And um, after two years of hard work, at last, we were starting the competition for which we had been working for so hard. Those two weeks of competition have been incredible. First of all, the public had an amazing feedback in our house. Everybody told us, you have the only house of the competition. I'm not bragging, it's true. In fact, that's our strategy. We really tried to make a house, a simple house. It was the less expensive of all the competition, and I'm sure that also helped them to think it was a better house. But it was a house they could imagine themselves living it on the long term. A second thing that really pleased us a lot, the house worked perfectly. Although we had the simple equipments inside, it did the same results comfort-wise than the highest technology houses we had as neighbors. Of course, it was a fantastic human experience for all the students and a great, great moment for all of us. And then we came back to Romania. We only needed five tracks. Um, I think Mr. Benoit would like that. We did it better on the coming back. And um, this is a picture taken just last weekend. It's close to Baco. And you might recognize the house behind the yellow tractor. It's PRISPA again. In fact, just before leaving for Madrid, we succeeded to sell the house to a Romanian family who wanted to move to the countryside, exactly what we'd have been dreaming about. And now it's nearly ready for 100 years of happy, life, happy living. 
Uh, this for us is maybe the most important step because this house has been thought of at the beginning. We had this huge project to do and to so much energy to put into. We wanted to do something useful. It has been thought to be a new kind of example, to open a new path for Romanian villages, a new way of living where quality is more important than quantity. I think I saw this movie a hundred times and each time I see it, I want to build a house again, I must say. <laughs> but uh, the truth is, that's the great part of Play Spa and it's an amazing experience for students. But it's a very hard project in the back. So much time consumed, so much energy. You reach your limits. We had this uh, two weeks before leaving to Madrid. We didn't have any more, we didn't have the budget to leave. And so we did this great communication movement. We, said, we sent a newsletter, we're stuck in Romania. Suddenly everybody's starting saying, no, it's not possible, we should help, everybody help. And we, we could go, that was amazing. We sold the house just one week before leaving. And most especially, I think everybody in the team had the opportunity to go to, it, to reach its own limit, to discover it. And that's, I think, the biggest achievement of uh, each one of the team to have stuck to the project. They didn't just abandon, they continued. And uh, for me, it has been really an honor to be the project manager of this amazing team. And uh, all the guys who have been in, uh, in our back, sponsors, family, partners. And um, it's a, a great achievement that we have succeeded to do what we propose to do. The last thing I would like to tell you, otherwise I think I wouldn't have done my duty to the end. I want to ask you a question, what's next? PRISPA has unlocked a door, a door where we propose to uh, optimize university education with design-built peda uh, pedagogy, where you create multidisciplinary teams, and we've proved how powerful this is. We've opened another door with uh, rural development. How, what can we do in Romania to better all the uh, build environment in Romania? And uh, I ask you, what are we going to do next? Are we going to close this door again and come back to our traditional uh, just letting things go? Or are we going to open these doors wide together? Because PISPA is just 50 people, but if every one of you here op wants to open this door and just does the step, then I think we can really change lots of things. Thank you very much.